Keterolac, or trade name Toradol, is a medication given for moderate to severe pain. Now, Keterolac is actually a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or NSAID, and it's a non-opioid analgesic. Here's the thing about Keterolac. When you get your first dose of Keterolac, you actually get it IV or IM, and then the physician may decide to switch you to PO. But you can only take Keterolac for five days total. So after that first injection, you can only take it for five more days. And it's given for this moderate or this mild to severe pain or for chronic pain conditions. Now, it's important that uh, women who are breastfeeding do not breastfeed while taking Keterolac. And it's important to understand and to teach your patients that these, not, these non-steroidal anti-inflammatories can cause GI bleeding. So look for any rash, any blood in the stool. Watch for anaphylactic reactions. This can also cause Stevens-Johnson syndrome, so really look for those rashes. Look for that peeling skin that you might see in a patient with Stevens-Johnson syndrome. The risk for bleeding can increase if a patient's taking garlic, ginger, and ginkgo. So when you ask your patient, you do your med rec, and you ask your patient, what medications are you taking? It's important that you really clarify with them. When I say medications, I mean over-the-counter medications, prescribed medications, or any herbs, vitamins, or any supplements that you're taking as well. So the way these uh, non steroidal anti-inflammatories work is they provide us with pain relief due to their ability to inhibit prostaglandin synthesis. These prostaglandins cause a lot of problems in our body. I mean, they're helpful, but what they do is they actually will cause fever, they will cause pain, and so we can give these NSAIDs to try to control this. The trade name for Keterolac is Toradol. So I'm sure you've heard of this medication before. You will have patients who have used it or who do use it to treat these chronic pain conditions. You know, they might have this chronic issue where they'll go into the, the physician every now and then, and get the Keterolac uh, injection, and then they'll take a couple days of PO Keterolac. So it's really important that you let your patients know about this, understand the risks of it, and that you understand that the patient can only take it for these five days, that it can cause this GI bleeding, and they should be monitoring for these conditions. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to nrsng.com slash 50 meds. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.